All right, now that we've got our exponential smoothing forecast measured, in other words, we can tell using these values how good our forecast is, we're now going to optimize our exponential smoothing forecast using solver. We want to try to minimize the mean squared error. And so using solver, we're going to change the alpha value until we get the smallest MSE that we can find. So we're going to go to Tools. We're going to click on Solver from the menu, and it's going to bring up the Solver Tool dialog box. Now, as we said, we're going to try to minimize the mean squared error. So you would kind of look at this function in mean squared error as the objective, because the objective is what you minimize or maximize. So I'm going to click on this to enter it into the set target cell. And we want to minimize that mean squared error. And we're going to change one cell alpha, where alpha is located. That's the cell that we change. And we need to, of course, make sure that alpha is within its boundary, which is 0 and 1. So we're going to add the constraint that alpha is less than or equal to the number 1. I'm just going to type in 1 into the constraint box and click OK but it also needs to be greater than or equal to zero so I'm going to add another constraint clicking in alpha on the alpha cell and making it greater than or equal to I'm going to type in a zero and now I'm going to click OK and it's ready to solve all I do now is push the solve button and that's it solve and now it says it found an optimal solution. So now I push OK, and there you have it. If we have an alpha of 0 0.66089, we're going to have the smallest mean squared error possible from our forecast. So we found the best exponential smoothing forecast for this data. And now we're done with exponential smoothing.